How to calculate present value? Kiran open an investment saving account. The interest rate is 5% per annum compounded quarterly. She wants an amount of $6,000 in 7 years. What principal should she deposit? So what we know here is that if we do compound interest problems, the future value amount A is equal to present amount times 1 plus i to the power of n. Now in this particular question, we want to know what is the present investment required for a given future value, right? So here $6,000 is the future value which Kiran wants after 7 years. So we can rearrange this formula and write present value P equals to A divided by 1 plus I to the power of N, correct? Now let's figure out what is I and N for this particular question. Now amount A we know is $6,000, right? $6,000. I is the interest rate in decimals. Now compounding period is quarterly. 5% per annum compounded quarterly. So 5% means 5 over 100. Compounding quarterly means 1 fourth, right? So 1 fourth of this. So that is the interest. So we can calculate this amount. Interest rate which is 5 divided by 400. Which is equals to 0.0125 So during the compounding period of one quarter interest charge will be at the rate of 0.0125 Now let's find the compounding periods which is n So in seven years since the interest will be paid four times a year it will be seven times four so that gives us 28 right so these are the values for a i n n so present value should be 6000 divided by 1 plus 0 0.0125 to the power of 28 right so let's calculate using calculator so we have 6000 divided by within brackets 1 plus 0 0.0125 bracket close to the power of 28 that gives us 4237.31 4237.31 so that is the amount which Kiran needs to deposit now so that she can get six thousand dollars in seven years right so that is the answer so the answer is dollar forty two thirty seven point one right now as a part of check you can always place this value here and figure out is it the right answer or not right so let's check it out so a should be equals to four two three seven point three one times one plus zero point zero one two five to the power of twenty eight correct so you can always check using this formula and then figure out if you are getting the right answer or not right so that is how these questions should be done important thing here is if the compounding period is not annual then you have to adjust the values of i and n and that is how we do it i hope that's absolutely clear thank you and all the best